Hi everyone, Tracy here from Paper Closet Designs. Thank you for joining me. I thought I would put together a little video showing you how to resize images in um, Cricut Design Space on the canvas. They came out with an update in July. Um, I don't know what all the updates did, but one of the things that it did was if you have a file size that is larger than 11.5 inches, it will come in at 11.5 inches, which means it doesn't come in at the right size. And I've had lots of emails, lots of people complaining. Um, I don't blame them. It's really frustrating. You purchase a, a file and then you open it up and it does not come in or cut the way that you want it to do. So I'm going to show you with my um, Shutter Heart card. These are some brand new cards that I have available in my Etsy shop or at myscrapchip.com. And I'm going to show you how to resize these. Now, before we get started doing this, um, I just started doing this with these shutter cards. So if you purchase files um, that were created before in July or before, um, they're not going to have this information on them. However, I am going to try and get everything updated. It may take me a few minutes to do that um, because I've got a lot of files. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to resize these and make them work in your Cricut. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space on the campus. The first thing that we're going to do is come over here to upload. And I know that I've showed you this before, but I'm just going to do it again really briefly. We're going to come up to Upload Images. And then I already have my file open. This is the Paper Closet Design Heart Shutter Card. And we are going to work with Design Space. These others, DXF, GSD, all of these, these are for other digital, or, uh, digital die cutting machines. With Cricut, you want to make sure that you're working with Design Space. We're going to double click it to open it. The PNGs are the files for the printable handwritten sentiments, and I have another video showing you how to use those. But here are the SVG files. So I have two different files. I have them with the perforation lines or with the score lines. So let's go ahead and do the perforation lines. We're going to just grab it and drag it over, and it's going to show up, and there is our heart shutter card all the pieces that we'll need. Now if I go ahead and hit save, it's going to get it ready to, um, it's downloaded. So now I'm going to click on it, it gets this green line and I can insert that image into my canvas area and it's um, so that it can be cut. Now here comes the frustrating part. Up until a couple of weeks ago, this would have come in at the right size and you could have just gone ahead and made it and it would be good to go. But it's now coming in at 11.5 inches <clears throat> is the highest height that will come in. And so when you keep it in proportion, you'll notice that the width is also really small too. And there's no way that this card is going to make that big card. You could cut it out this size and have a little tiny card that would work. But how do you get it to be the right size? Well, with my images, um, if I come down here and zoom in, it's going to tell me, I'm going to zoom in one more time, that I need to resize the width to 11.5 inches and lock the padlock. So before I ungroup this or do anything, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to make sure the padlock is locked or closed. That will keep everything in proportion. I'm going to change the width to 11.5 and hit enter. That's going to automatically change the height. And now I'm going to have to zoom out. Everything is the correct size and will cut out the correct way. So now, really quick, let me just show you what we're going to do. We're going to ungroup this. Those words that said cut to a width, or excuse me, resize to a width, we don't want that. We don't want that to cut. So I'm just going to click on it and delete it. And now my card is ready to be cut. It's got the perforation lines and they're already part of this. So I'm going to hit make it. It's going to take it over to my mat preview. It's telling me that I'll need six mats. 
My first one is my uh, white fat. That's my sentiment where it's going to go. Then I have two pink ones. Now, these cards actually get cut out of the same pink. So why are they on two different mats? Well, Silhouette, or excuse me, Cricut just does that sometimes. Um, it thinks that they can't both fit on there, but, and sometimes they're right, sometimes they can't, but in this instance, it can. So I'm going to come down here to this mat that only has one piece, and I'm going to click on it, and you'll see this circle with the three little dots. If I click on that, it gives me two um, options. I can hide it, which I don't want to do because I want to cut it out, or I can move it to another mat. So I'm going to click on move to another mat, and it's going to bring up all of my mats. Now I could add a new mat, I could put it on one of these, but we know that it gets cut out of this same pink as this one. So I'm going to click on this mat, and I'm going to confirm, and there it is. Now I just need to move it down here. And I am going to have to put it right down there in the corner. There's a little bit of space right in here, so it should cut. And now I can cut all of this on one mat and save some, um, save some paper. If I wanted to, I could also take this heart and move it down here. And then I can save all of this paper right here when I go ahead and cut it. Then I would hit continue. It's going to try and connect to my machine, which is not turned on right now. So at this point, we're just going to stop. I'm going to hit cancel. Well, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit cancel. Sorry. Yes, I want to cancel the cut. And I have my available mats over here all ready to go. So there's my darker pink, my lighter pink with my medium pink, which has my panel embellishments, and my dark red, which has my belly band. And it's all ready to go. Please subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. And thank you for joining me today.